Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and I'm excited to bring you this uh, country farm scene in the winter. It was originally painted in 1855 by uh, George Henry Dury. He was an American artist, a D-U-R-R-I-E. He actually did it as an oval, and it was 27 uh, 94 centimeters, or 11 inches by 14 inches was his size, so slightly bigger than ours, but uh, so he was able to add a little bit more detail in his and a couple of cows and some chickens and so forth, but I think this is really uh, fun, and here's the deal. I had a frame for this, and I'm going to suggest to you that when you paint this, if you're looking for an oval, you could do it as a rectangle for sure, but if you're going to do it as an oval, consider finding the frame at the same time, because that will make a world of difference as far as... Um, it, it might be hard to find it afterwards. So I always try to buy these at the same time. Here's a little gold frame that goes with this. See, and that's a perfect little holiday, um, you know, winter painting to put up. You know, the nice thing about being an artist is you can have your spring paintings and your winter paintings and your fall paintings. Uh, most people just, uh, you know, have a couple of pieces of original artwork and that's it. But when you're painting your own stuff, you know, sky's the limit. You can just decorate every season with your own original art. Um, what I'm going to suggest you do now, and I'm going to ask as a favor to us, is that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not. We've noticed that about half the viewers on any of our at YouTube never subscribe, and it makes a world of difference to us. It helps our videos get out. So if you appreciate the fact that we put up this as a free art lesson, and one of the things you can do for us, we really, really appreciate it, is if you would go ahead and subscribe to our channel, put these in playlists, and share it. That makes a difference. So the only colors that we're using on this, this is pretty interesting. We've got ultramarine blue. Here's kind of my palette here. Let me just sort of, let me just zoom back out. There's my palette. I would zoom back out, but I can't find the zoomer, so nobody's zooming anything. All right. Um, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, cad yellow medium, burnt umber, and raw umber is a new color we don't always use. Raw umber, both mixing white or zinc white, which you do want, and titanium white, cad red medium, and that's it. Those are the colors, okay? We mixed all those colors just using these. I think that that's really kind of cool. I think um, I told you if I did anything different, I would, uh, at the end, I always do tell you if I'm doing anything different. I add, took a little white pen and added a few more little white uh, snow thing on these branches with one of these Posca pens. Which is hot, P O S C A, fine point pen, just uh, for up here in the front. Uh, sometimes that's a little bit harder to do. The brush that I used for the majority of this was this new brush uh, from Cinnamon, my daughter, the Art Sherpa. This is called a half inch silver um, angle, and uh, they're red, they're sold individually. You can get these at the brush guys if you whenever you buy any brushes you go to www.thebrushguys.com use my full name all one word no matter where you buy the brushes you can go to cinnamon site or mine under the teacher site find a nice collection of different brushes use the my name ginger cook as a code and you'll get five percent off so um, which sometimes makes a big difference and somebody was saying that um, uh, you can now get um, uh, there's some Canadian art stores also. Uh, if you're from Canada, apparently there's some big art store in Canada that's now carrying the silver line of brushes, and particularly the Art Sherpa brushes, and an art store. I think it's called Anderson's in England and the UK. So those are just a couple of tips if you're looking to find those brushes. Otherwise, my favorite place to buy them is the Brush Guys because I think they have the, the really wonderful prices. That 5% makes a real difference, and they sh ship globally. So please enjoy this uh, f uh, nice farmhouse. We're going to show you some other winter paintings that we have, not only on YouTube but on our website as, you know, during some, a couple of breaks in this. And um, your comments and feedback are so appreciated. And uh, we'll uh, get back to you if you have any questions, right? Even when I'm um, traveling, I always go to my uh, computer every day and answer questions. And if you have anything, and you can sure write us at gingercooklive.gallery. Contact us if you have any more questions about things, too. So thanks very much. Please enjoy Farmhouse in Winter. Okay, so when I saw this, I thought I have a round picture frame like this, and I had a round canvas. I don't know why I got some paint on it. That won't matter. I'm just going to sand this off, and then I'm going to go ahead and paint this 
probably this blue color to get it started. Now, because this is so small, I won't be able to do as much detail as in this original painting done in 1855, but I think I can make a very nice silhouette, and I think this will be really pretty, and sometimes you might run across a round canvas like this. Don't buy one unless you can get the frame for it, okay? I have this frame for it, I think this might be really pretty to do, and uh, just have it just like this, so kind of bear with me. And um, what we're going to do is just, um, we're going to paint this, take some ultramarine blue, because we want sort of a gray, kind of a gray blue sky, all right? And we're going to take some white paint and head red medium, and we're going to make a sort of a gray color, all right? Like that. We'll use about 1% of the cad red medium. Um, and let's see, of course, it's going to be about 90% white. So that's our next uh, color that we've got to put out. And uh, we just grab our white. And, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and mix that color. Now, where did I put the white? Uh, this is not it. That's the purple. Where did the white go? This is always the story of ah, get hiding behind here. All right, so it's going to be, just move this over here. I'm going to do about 90% white, which means we need to probably take some sort of palette knife, which I'm sure we've got one sitting around here somewhere. I always have tons of these things. Somewhere there's one sitting here. Don't you love it? You know, I, I think I have a good time painting all this stuff. And I, what I love about painting in our academy is I can paint so many different things. Still looking for the palette knife. Well, let me pause, get the palette knife, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to start with the white. Add, add, add a tiny bit of blue to that. Just like this. Now just pull and squish. Pull and just pull it and squish it. So it mixes. You see I'm doing about half the white. I'll move this over here. I don't think I'm going to need all that. Put a little bit more of the blue in it. Like that. Now, about one drop of cad red medium ought to gray that red pretty well. A little, little more will do it. We should get this sort of blue-gray color, which is, of course, the color that we're looking for. And I'm just going to um, get my... Uh, Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and get my reference photo so that I can see it. I have it right here in front of me on an iPad. But that way, uh, the reason I like to put references photos on an iPad is I can blow them up certain areas, okay? So, let's see. Put on never for how long I want the um, auto lock to be. I put it on never. Then I'll go back and look at my picture. And there, now, it's, now I've got it. Now, okay, so... All right, that should, that should, see how I'm just turning the knife over like that? Now, that's a pretty good, now, if I wanted it a little grayer than that, make it look a little bit older, this is an old-timey painting. So what, what I would suggest you do is add, add raw umber to everything. Just take some raw umber, well, not burn umber now, this is a transparent color, and add a little raw umber to this brown a little bit. And what that does is it really grays it. Okay, so I'm going to scrape all that up. I'm going to take a fairly large brush. These are one of the new uh, number 10 Art Sherpa brushes. And I want to wet the brush, wipe it off on a towel so it's just damp. And I'm going to just go ahead and paint over what I had here. Oh, I was going to sand that too, wasn't I? I remember that. Yeah, I think I have a little high spot there. I think that leaned against something. I don't know, whatever that was. I just quick sand it. All right, good. Good enough. All right, now look, see how I've covered the whole canvas in this sort of, it's almost, it's a very, very soft French blue-gray color. I'm going to just, that's going to be my underpainting for the entire picture. Now, of course, you could do this larger. You don't have to do it in, a, um, in an oval. It originally was done as an oval, and I think that's, I think this is going to be charming, absolutely charming to do it this way. So let's just make sure we've got that covered. Now, what we want to do here is just to make sure this is all covered. And um, now what I want, I'm going to put the palette knife in water. I'm going to rinse the brush and then put, leave that in water. And I'm going to take a hairdryer and we're going to dry this. 
okay? All right, that's that's still wet right there. Okay, so let's take a little more. Let me get a, just a little bit more paint. Touch that up. I think I have a little bit left right here. That's still that's still wet and kind of a high spot. And let's just let's just dry it again. Okay. So all right, I'm gonna dry it one more time. Um, before we go back to our painting, I just want to point out that if you are enjoying a winter scenes, all right, on our website, gingercoatlive.gallery, we have a lot of the old masters that have done winter scenes. This was a Norwegian artist. And I mean, if you like this type of thing. Now, as far as that goes on YouTube, do you guys remember that we painted this last year? This is very cheerful, not quite the detail of what we're doing today, but not everything has to be totally detailed. So we have quite a few things on YouTube already that are winter, but one of my favorite ones we have on YouTube that you have that maybe you haven't tried. This painting here again was done, you know, in the eight, late 1800s and this is a, again another tutorial that's on YouTube and if you look under our winter playlist, you will see it. Here's another one um, this was one we did last year. I love this and any of these would look pretty in that, you know, in, as a round um, frame. Here's another one we did last winter that's on YouTube. I think you would really enjoy that. And then back to our um, our own website, we've got some wonderful, on our, our Art Academy website, we've got some beautiful ones. These are two cookie lessons, very simple. Here's another old farmhouse. So if you want to, if you really want to get into the snow, can I just suggest that uh, you check out all the videos we have on YouTube, and please check out the check out the um, the videos that we have on our website, gingercooklive.gallery. All right, now I'm going to um, take a minute. here's our. Let me just move this out of the way. The paint. Let's just not get paint everywhere. Here's that you can kind of see my reference photo here. Here's the one I'm looking at. So this is um, probably the same size, but I mean this was a much larger painting. But what we can kind of you know determine from that is that if, if this was a clock, this is six o'clock. Let's just do that. Twelve, nine, and three. So um, right about um, what about seven o'clock? We're going to just draw a line across here between you know. So well, here's three four, five, six, yeah, so just a little bit above five. We're going to draw a line across here. That is our snow line. And then right at three o'clock, just past three o'clock, just past three o'clock a little bit, is is where our hills are going, like that, okay? And then the majority of this is sky, clouds, like this, with these sort of fluffy clouds going here like that, okay? Something like that, okay? Now, then we've got, um, see, right about here, our farmhouse ends. It's not very big, so you've got to get it, keep it kind of small. Here's two little lines here. Okay, it's going to go up like this. We're going to have a vanishing point over here, but we're not going to talk too much about that. Here's our little barn roof like that. Okay. This is our biggest building. This is why I'm just sort of sketching it out here. Then I've got um, 
another low barn here that's snow covered. Okay. I might bring this down just a bit. I think I'm going to make this barn just a touch bigger. Okay, yeah. And then let's, um, let's bring this down like this. So I'm not sure I'm going to put everything in the picture that was in this one. Okay. And then he's got a little house over here. We, we might suggest it. So let's see, it's way off the, it's just coming off of here like that, off of our, off of our picture, like here, about just about three o'clock, okay? Where this little house is, it's a little longer than I made it. Okay, a little monopoly house. And then he's got, right here, he's got in the front, which is sort of interesting. He's got this log, which is because it's in the foreground. He's got some sort of little log, and I think this is a, a rock. I'm not sure what that is. Interesting. Some sort of rock here like that. And he's got this little fence here. And then right here he's got um, these, these two little hay bales that are here. Okay. And then there's some trees, and we're going to come up just a little. Yeah, I think we're about right. So that's, I mean, there's not a lot to that. We're not putting in all the cows and all the stuff, but I think this will be really cute when it's done. So, okay, so you've got, we're going to just go with that. I think, I think my barn's big enough, but maybe it isn't. Let's just say that it's coming here a little bit. I want to make sure this barn is big enough. There we go. Let's get this roof. And this roof really slants down here like that. Because your vanishing point's down here. Like this somewhere. So this line, you know, is coming this way. Really slants down. Alright. So, so far so good. Alright. This is what we say we've got going. So it's going to be charming. I think this is going to be really cute. It's just um, such a fun thing. So the first thing we're going to do is um, I take a round brush and a little bit of a... Um, mixing one, a little bit of white and a little bit of raw umber and we're going to put in some clouds just like that. We're going to have these kind of clouds here. So I want to come up here like this using my round brush making little circles make these uneven here alright like that get a little more paint okay come on down like that now I'm going to get a little of this blue color here and add a little bit of this to my clouds as I go. Just a little bit. I think I'm going to dampen this brush a bit. It needs to have a little bit of moisture on it for this to work a little better. Kind of cover this rough canvas. Okay, here we go. I'm going to say here's my clouds like this. Little circles coming down here into my mountains. And... Uh, the reason you want the raw umber for the clouds, and there's a reason for that, you want the shadow, the clouds to be kind of in shadow and even put a little bit of raw umber in them. Wipe your brush and just kind of work a little raw umber in the clouds for some shadows is because the snow is very white. And uh, let's take a little bit more of this gray color. Make that a little bit for, our, there we go. So you know you've got a little bit of this gray color in the clouds too like that coming up in here just some shadow parts to it bringing that all over here like this a little more of this raw umber and white there we go so we're going to say here's our clouds let's come around uh, here like this and kind of down into here kind of a little lower than we need them now what you can do if you're worried about this you can take some ultramarine blue and white and a little bit of this uh, those two sky colors that we made make some more sky color just go ahead and make some more of this blue sky color okay like that and if you want you can come up here like this again very gently add some of the sky color just a second coat something like that doesn't hurt to very, you know, then if you need to break this cloud up a little bit here like that, something where it might have come down from the top. But that's pretty much, I would say, our, our clouds. Now, um, this round brush is going to go away. And um, now we're going to take just a small, you could use any of the angle brushes. 
I'm going to come back here with these same colors, brown and ultramarine blue and white, and make a little darker gray color. Okay, and then I want to come back here and say that um, back behind our hill, there's some mountains back here that are back going to be back behind our um, houses. And I think at this point I want a little phthalo blue. We're going to want both blues. We'll take a little bit of the phthalo blue, which is like that. Let's just pull the top off. There we go. Okay. Now, I might add a touch of that, just a touch of that, and a little bit more white. Okay. So now I'm going to, that's my first coat, and I'm going to add maybe this color to it. So I have some... Um, depth to the hills. Okay. Okay, and this is our grayer mountain back here, and we've got another one right back behind the barn here. So we've got this one here. A bit bluer. Okay, a little bit more longer with that. That's a little bright. Okay. It's going to kind of come on down here like this. Let's get some of that darker gray color here, too. Okay. All right. Now, that, that's where we've got our, um, this is sort of our background. Now, right behind the house, a uh, little bit of white, right behind the house, there is a little bit of this blue cloud. There's a little, kind of a little bit of the sky showing right here, kind of where the roof of the barn is. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of blue there, then come back with a little bit of the raw umber and white. Kind of go around that. Just There we go. Just tap that around. I know I've got a little bit of brown in there. A little tiny bit of blue right here. Just kind of blend that in. Ah, there we go. Okay, so far so good? Yeah? Okay, so now, now what? Well... Okay, so now we want to get out burnt umber, and we're going to make a dark gray color. And so we're going to start with at cad red, uh, rather, ultramarine blue, and burnt umber, a little tiny bit of cad red medium, and we're going to make this dark gray color. And I'm going to go ahead and paint in my barn here. So you just an angle brush. You don't want too much water on here. And this is my first layer. I'll, I'll, the, I'll put the hay bales in front of us. So I'm not worried about that. These, this is my barn going right here. Okay, like that. And then let's see, where else do I want that color? I want that color right here, even a little bit darker. Burnt umber, ultramarine blue. Even a little bit darker right here on this one. This this little barn right here okay and then I think I need it dark up here so let's just I know I've got a log and a rock here so I guess I can just put that in as long as I need a coat of paint on here this is pretty thin there's not enough um, pigment on this yet but we know down here something something goes here in the front okay so I'm just going to put that there now, what else could I do? So let's probably we're gonna have to get out some yellow. Alright, let's get out some yellow. That's fun. This will be pretty. I think this will be really charming when it's done. I, I always do the entries ent entry um of the videos at the very end, so I'm never sure how these are gonna come out when we start. If it doesn't come out, I'm not gonna show it to you. So here's a little bit of cad red um medium and yellow. And I want to come over here by this house. And just say that this is, um, that's the front of this one. It gets a little narrower as it goes back like that. Okay. Now, uh, if I take a little bit of white to that in yellow, and some white paint, the front of this is lighter. This is the front of this house right here. Okay, there's the front. And um, 
Now the front of this barn, let's take a little bit of this yellow color and add it to our um, brown, a little tiny bit of phthalo blue. Now I've got this blue grain. Let's see how I mix this color. I'm going to say here's the front of our barn. It's going to come all the way over here. I like this angle brush because I can do these very sharp lines with it. Okay. And remember, this has to really angle here. This roof doesn't go straight across. It angles down like that. Okay. And now let's see what else happens. Um, well, that's a good... Um, I don't know what else happens. All right, so I guess we know that um, as long as we're... I'm just seeing, trying to see what I can do before I have to dry something. Okay, so here's a little bit of white and uh, this color mixed in. And I'm going to come up on here like this, using my angle brush like this, and make this sort of, um, let's put a tiny bit of phthalo blue with that. Okay, these are very subtle shades of, of blue-gray. All right, so we're going to say that right here on this barn is this tiny, maybe something's coming down off the sides, but this is here, and then I'm going to come this way. And let's paint the, um, let's just take that color and paint the top of this that, okay, it needs a little more brown with it. That would be rubber. Let's just put the shadow colors in this building. Okay. Now at this point it's kind of hard to see anything because we don't have any real contrast going. We really don't. So while we're waiting for all this, and um, I'm not, um, I'm, I'm just looking at this going, I don't think I have my peak right here, but that's okay. I know how to change that. I feel like my roof needs to peak up a little stronger like this and like this. It needs to be more of an A there, okay? Oh, uh, no, still not right. It needs to come over this way more and then go this way. So let's just start again. This needs to be a pretty good triangle, okay? So now I am going to take a moment and just dry everything so I can keep going. Okay, so we've dried, we've been drying our picture. I want to take another break and just show you again some of the newest winter paintings we have. Um, as a downloadable release on our website, these are our village paintings. They're six by eight. They're meant to go together like this and, and stand. There's seven in the so far that as, as of this recording that we've done. We have the gazebo, the church, or it could be a hotel, depending on what you wanted to make it. A bakery. Um, let's see. Let's, let's zoom back out just to here. The bakery. We've also got this darling little fountain. So, and then again, everything's on six by eight gallery wrap, very wide canvases. So, uh, please just take a moment, go over, over to our website, gingercooklive.gallery. Check these out. You can own, you can own the, um, the videos forever. You know, you buy them and you own them. And there's two in each set. There's two paintings in each set. And there's a total of seven. There's also a toy. There's some other cute little shops involved in this. So, and also remember, if you're a member of our website, on any of our downloadable videos that you buy, you get at least 20% off. So be sure to ask ahead of time your discount code if you're a member, okay? And that even counts if you've been a member. If you just join us for a week for the $9.95, that still makes you a member during that week, and that might be a good way for you to save on these, too. Just join us for a week and then ask for your discount code. So thanks for uh, doing this. Let's get back to our painting. Okay, so what we want to have happen now is we need a little zinc or mixing white, which is your transparent white. And yes, you're going to need this. You guys should just have that. That's just a, it's a really important color. All right, so a little bit of mixing white here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over these mountains and make sure this is dry. Put a little on your brush, tap it off, and then very gently come over these hills like this. And... Um, 
You still want to be able to see the, the, the hills behind, but we've faded them out. So they're here. You see that? They're still here. Okay, on this side here. They're still here. Okay. But um, but we faded them out. Now on this side, we're taking a little bit of the white in the cloud, you know, the cloud color, the kind of the off-white brown cloud color. Okay, like that. And we're going to come here and say that there's a roll of these brown clouds kind of that are doing this kind of around our barn here like that and see a little more white with that too much white tap that in okay so if that almost needs to be whiter yet then I've got it a little more titanium wipe it off the brush then work that in just sort of tap it in there we go because if you still want to see a little of this mountain behind there a little bit of that blue mountain and if you lost it don't panic just uh, put it back make that little gray color and just put this mountain back here like this if you need to somehow you need this mountain back behind here and then I'll take a little bit of the darker color and just tap in some darker just something darker like that here down toward the front because our, our little not going to see much of this, I know that, but we're trying to, you know, kind of get this. And, um, all right, we're going to say there. So we're saying there's our mountains, like that. And they're back there, but we're barely seeing them. You're just barely seeing them. Okay? Maybe I'll take a little bit more of this sort of off, you know, kind of this brown cloud color. Let's take a clean brush. I think that would help me if I had a clean brush for this. Here's a little soft, oops soft angle brush you just a little soft brush and I'm going to just put a few more of these little clouds right here now these little brown clouds coming up something like that that's a little brown here so let's lighten these up second row of clouds doesn't hurt does not hurt just go ahead and add some layers sometimes you can have something very light, just even with a little mixing white on the very edges of these, right? Use just the tiny tip of your brush. Kind of lighten this up a bit. Very soft. Just barely soft. Give it another layer of these in here like that. Clouds are not just one flat thing, okay? So we're pretty good there. All right, so we've got these clouds. We've got this. Um... What we need to have happen here is, um, I'm going to rinse that brush. What we've got here is we've got some ultramarine blue and red and cad red medium. And we've got this sort of gray color. All right. Put a little tiny bit of white with it, right? Almost a sort of purple blue gray color. <clears throat> what we're going to say is happening here is there's a bush behind using just the tip of this brush. We're going to say that there's some sort of darker bush right be under this, um, Right back here behind this yellow house okay we don't really see too much of it that's the only one that where that's kind of there and then there's we'll put something else over it but that's one going right here and then um, let's just take some white paint and mix it there you go and then behind here like this behind here this house right here there's this there's this snow layer and there is a little bit of brown in it it's not pure white. There's this little sort of uh, kind of dirty snow layer behind this house right here. Okay. Let's come in here like that. There's, that's back there. And then for this roof to show up, this has to be white right here. This is you know, the reason this roof is even showing up. The very top of this is white. Okay, and the same thing with this one. Let's take a little bit of white paint, start our angle going here like that, and say that this is the top of our barn. Remember, this has got to really slope down like that. There's the top of this. Make this a little bigger. There's a little bit of brown shadow down toward the bottom down here. Okay, so there's our little barn. So it's starting to look better already. I know you doubted me. I don't know, Ginger, it doesn't look like anything to me. And then over this little shadow area, we're going to say that there's some snow piled up here like that. 
Okay. Now, as long as we're playing, let's take a little of this color and uh, let's just let's just um, let's let's just add some snow to the to our landscape here. So it's a little bit it's not too perfect, right? Around here, this is our titanium white. We're going to say that there's some snow here. Okay, like that. And some of this blue is going to show underneath. This is why you did this underpainting. In case you were wondering, this underpainting, some of the blue will show, kind of, kind of peek through, and you want that. Okay. So already that's looking cute. Come on, that's looking cuter, right? Now. All right. So now we've got. I want a little bit of little phthalo blue, and white, and a little bit of cat red medium with that. Kind of make that a little bit more purple. Okay, now I want to touch the edge of this barn like this. This is my shadow on this snow. I'm just going to tap it in here on both sides. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the same thing under here. Like that. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, well, it's coming. I'm telling you, this is a fun little painting. I think you're going to be surprised how cute this is. All right, so now we're going to take some white paint and we're going to come here like this and give it a white roof over here like that and then run something off the side like that. Oop, maybe not so perfect. Yeah, no, that's not so great. Let's just try again. Probably should have dried that dark blue tree before I erased it with my hand. It's okay. I'll put the dark tree pleat back. Here, i got to put this dark little blue tree back. I kind of lost it. I didn't get my little roofy thing right. Okay. It's a little bit of too much paint right there. Let's just pull some of that up. Okay, like that. Okay, so we've got that. And I feel, and so we're not going to see, um, let's put a little more of that gray right here. We'll put a little bit more gray right here like that by the house. Okay, so you're going to really see the house now because we kind of gave it a little contrast. All right, so now what? Well, one thing we could do is, for instance, um, let's see where we're at with the white. Let's put some more white out. I'm going to say that I want, I'm going to just turn this sideways, and I want this edge here to be very white and sharp. i pinch the brush, put paint just on one side of it, and pull it this way. For me, sometimes it's easier to... Um, to turn something sideways. There you go. Better? Yeah. Okay, it's a sharper line. Okay, now, can we do a lot more? What is that? Where did even that come from? We don't know. It's like a little extra paint that got kind of squished on there. All right. So, uh, that's not white enough, on the, white enough on the top here. So, let's just make this the next coat. Like this. There we go. So, I mean, there's certain, certain things have to be whiter than others. Here's some more white paint. We know we're going to have some white in here like this. Kind of pile it. Don't make it straight. Just sort of pile it. For those of you who've never seen snow, just imagine uh, it piles. That's what I can tell you. It piles. All right. Now I'm going to just stop and dry this, and we'll keep going. Incidentally, if you like my hair dryer, uh, it originally was painted with Starry Night. I've still got paint on it. I could almost do it again. I have a neat video on YouTube on how to paint your hair dryer because you're going to get paint on it anyway. So that's kind of fun, right? All right, so now what do we've got? I think I could do, I'll just uh, take this um, right in here. I've got a door. Make sure that this door comes all the way up to, almost all the way up to the top here. 
Well, you know, in this house, we can't do it. I don't think I have it quite wide enough. Right? So here's my door right here for the, um, for the barn, okay? Like that. Okay, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to take some ultramarine blue and burnt umber, no white. I want to make that very dark. I'm just going to paint that door in right in there like that. Make that very dark. Then I'm going to paint something very light right next to it. That's the inside shadow. That's the This is the side we're seeing right there, the door. So I have to be very careful now. Like that. Okay, there's that door. And now I want a little bit of a blue-gray color, which I'm going to get with the, using the Cad Red Medium. Maybe a little tiny bit of phthalo blue and white. This is an interesting thing in grays. And I want to come under here like this. Let's make this a little darker, a little more phthalo blue. I'm going to come under here like this. And I want to pull this to make sure this is straight down. Let's say that I want a little bit darker under my snow. All right, like that. And then when I get down here to the bottom, I'm going to take some of that brown snow color, like that, some of that kind of brownies, cloudy color. And I want to come barely touch this, like that. And then I'm going to say that I've got here on this side, This side of the barn is actually lighter, but it's got um, some boards, so it's almost like raw umber and white. With a little tiny bit of blue in it, so it's like a blue-gray color. So we're going to say, here's our first board, right like that. Here's our next one. Now this canvas is pretty rough, so the, the detail is a little iffy, but um, the important thing is that we want like a line like this to it where the door is, uh, you know, where there's, it's kind of, you can see the wood, like that, see, kind of see the wood. Then we're going to do a little dark line this way. Same thing here, we're going to say we can see the wood, which is going to, our darkest color will be ultramarine blue or thalo blue, and burnt umber. We're going to do a few little tiny lines just with the tip of this brush. You can do an awful lot with a brush like that. Okay, so that's our barn, and let's do the same thing here. Let's, um, wow, we just broke this brush. Look at that. Just broke it. Interesting. Let's still use it. That's depressing. Hmm. All right. Um, let's see. I'm going to just take a little bit of the mixing white and the raw umber now, mix it together. And I want to come up here and just using, um, dry. This is what you call dry brushing on some boards here, maybe. Turn this sideways. It's got to be darker than this side. So I'm just going to do something like this. I'll show you a little trick. I can't. It's it, it's easier for me to do it this way. Okay, like that. Because I I don't want it that light. Not anywhere near that light. You see, this would be. You can't leave it like this. So let me show you what we're going to do. Try it. throw that brush away grab another brush now this is dry so what we're going to do is we're going to take some ultramarine blue a little cad red medium a little more ultramarine blue and water okay just those two colors now I'm going to go over this add a little bit more water to this I'm going to go over this and glaze this out see I want a little more raw umber with that so I'm going to glaze this out like this. Now when I come over this, if I've dried it right well, um, I'm going to get the light part of the wood showing here like this. Now let me just show you. So you can see the light showing through. Now I'll take a little water and just erase a little bit of this. Just sort of pull it up like that. See what's happened. So I can, this is an easy enough thing. This is called just sort of, it's like pouring coffee on your clothes. It's sort of white shirt. It sort of stains it. All right, so there's that. That's nice. 
I can erase it even more if I want to just by a little water on the brush and then I'll take some dark this is another little angle brush that's slightly bigger do a little dark line across here like this and uh, just put a few little of these dark lines back a little bit of burnt umber ult thalo either thalo or ultramarine blue either one would work okay we're going to say those are dark and this is the dark brown edge of our barn okay so that's how we're going to get the contrast on that. All right. So now what? Well, what we've got is some tiny little trees back here. Let's see if I can't use this new stiff brush to put these trees in. All right. So it's the same idea. Let's take some of uh, the same color, that same burnt rubber, maybe um, phthalo blue. I'm going to take this, the tip of this. I'm going to say going back behind here like this way up see how I can make these tiny little branches now that I don't know another acrylic brush that will do that it has to be stiff enough for it allows for the acrylic and then we're gonna say he had a tree coming right up here um, in front of this house like this this is the, the one that kind of splits like this and does that so he's got some trees and they go way up into the sky like that. See, this is, I'm telling you, if you don't have one of these angles, you can't, <laughs> I don't have another brush in my, I've never had a brush that would do that, this size that would do that. This is great. Now see, I'm just using these little bits, okay. Now I, there's that one. And then I'm going to say that back here, I've got another one that's sort of coming this way. And Crookedy. Remember, the branches get very teeny as they go up. Um, we're going to wire it right here. Barely touch it. Keep loading the paint. Just using that last hair of the brush. Let's see. And we're going to say it's a little bit, just to sort of tap on a little bit more trunk right there. And then ooh, up here like this. So we're going to take a chance. Can we get this all up here like that? Something like this. There we go. How fun is this, right? And that's fun. <laughs> it's fun because it's working. You know, when it doesn't work, it suddenly gets real unfun, right? So, all right, so I said, uh, there's that one. Now, um, okay, barely touch it. Just get it up high like that. Just, just using the last few fibers of this brush and wiring it up like that. It's almost like using a pen. All right. So now I'm going to say that right here, even taller than that tree, right here, I've got a pine tree. And I'm going to have a little bit of yellow with this and make this a really dark green. Now it's the same color. I've just added some yellow with this. And I'm going to come up here like this with this. And we're going to say that these are coming coming down. Now, this is going to be a sort of a, I guess we'll start here like this and just do that so we know where the tree is going. And we're going to say that this is a, let's get a little cad red in that, make this a little darker. I'm going to say that this is my dark, I know that this tree is really dark right here like this. And it's going to come up here like this. So you're going to come out a bit, these little, it's a different kind of pine tree than the kind I normally paint, but I'm going to put in his. I like his, I don't have, it's not the kind I normally do, it doesn't really matter, does it? We're going to say that this is all back in here like this. Actually, he has, I think he has two, but, you know, he's lucky to get one out of me, right? Bring this up just to higher and make it a little bit. You've got to have it real tiny up at the top, okay, like that. All right, so there's this little pine tree. I think we could bring it out a little bit more right here because it can come in front of this tree like that. All right, that's coming in front of that tree. All right, now while that's drying, that's cute, right? 
Do I have something here like this? Do, 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 do. Okay, there's our pine tree. That's fun. I mean, I'm telling you what, this is, I thought we could do this. This would be a cute picture. I'm going to rinse the brush. Now, what I want to do is um, get some uh, cad red medium and um, yellow and make an orange like that. Just add some burnt umber in it and make sort of a rust brown color. Okay. Now, what we want to do here is come back over here. Let's get a little bit more burnt umber. So let's come back over here and we're going to tap in miscellaneous shrubs like this. Miscellaneous shrubs and there's almost, you can almost see where the snow is uh, coming there. Some sort of miscellaneous shrubs back there. And this area here, let me get a different brush. Um, this area here of snow this sort of grayer snow. It's got a little bit of brown in it. Remember that stuff? This has got to come back behind here like this. This has got to come back behind the... This has got to whiten this up a bit. It's too dark. Let's put a little bit of um, white over it. That's really too dark. A little tiny bit of white over this. All right, there's because there is some white snow back here. All right, so there's some white snow back there. Um, let's bring a little bit of white snow down here like that. Okay. So now, put that brush away. We've got, we're into the browns now. Okay. So then we've got sitting right here, flatten the brush out. I've got next to this one, I have got another little tree coming up like this that's wine. And um, I'll just, Go over the base. Remember, trees are always, this is a tree rule now, they're always fatter at the bottom than at the top. Okay, so we're saying there's another little tree right here. And um, let's, let's see, maybe it's, it's going to come up here like that. Okay, so there's this tree right there. There's some little tree there. And then we've got, um, let's put a little brown take a little brown and put a little brown on the trunk on this one okay, and then as long as we're there I'm going to just take my blue on the back of the brush and make a little door here we don't have to get too crazy right a couple little windows okay just just to indicate something where well, again he, he he made this much bigger we're trying to do this this size and so it's a, a little more challenging that's okay, we can do it. It's just going to be a little more challenging. Now he's got um, here, he's got, um, let's see, I'm going to rinse this big angle brush off and get a little white paint. Now here he's got a space between this tree and the barn. I think I can do this without drying it, but let's just see right here. There's a little white space right like that between, like that. Okay, there's that kind of there. And then I want to make sure we have enough white on top of this tree. I mean, this, this roof here. And I want to make sure I'm into the white paint that I've got enough white coming up here like this on this one. It looks really dry darker. So sometimes you think you've got it and you actually don't. Now behind, over here, there's another big brown tree. Let's put that one. It goes clear off. So let's take our burnt umber, okay, wipe, wipe the brush. Let's put a little more out. Did you see where I've used all the burnt umber? That's interesting. For such a little painting, now a little bit of, of ultramarine blue with it. I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to come pushing pretty hard like this, and then I'm going to lift up on the brush, and then it's going into nothing. And then it's going to just sort of, Like that. And so, so we're saying that there's a very big tree right here. And then it's not a big tree anymore. And then it's got something coming up like this. Like that. Maybe, maybe we've got some branches coming this way. Just keep, keep forking the branches. This is what I would tell you. 
even if they don't connect to something, just suggest they do by, by the way you're forking them. Got a nice big tree right here. It's sort of curving up. There you go, something like that behind here. It's going to have some, um, it definitely will have some, um, um, you know, leaves and stuff on it, but this is our, um, this is the skeleton of it, and it's coming kind of behind the house here even a little bit. All these trees, it comes up here. So this is 12 o'clock. It starts about 10, 9, 10, 11, 12. Somewhere between 10 and 11 o'clock is where it's stopping, if in case you wanted to know that. And just say that there's something happening there. Okay, so there's that little tree. I'm not liking this part right here, my trunk. So um, if I took a little bit of water in, on this brush, could I erase that? Just just peel that off right there. Look at that. See, I can just make that another little branch right there. Red swipe, swipe. But that, that tree was just, I wasn't happy with it. It just felt like it leaned. I've got to straighten this up here. I'm going to just bring it up like this. I feel like this was leaning a little bit. Re put, redo the tree. Okay, better. All right, so now um, I've also got some sort of little trees that are coming back this way that we're barely seeing that are growing back here. Kind of put it, there's like a little stop on this. Okay, you barely see them. They're coming out here behind our hay bales, which we haven't put. So there's a little tree there. Um, oh, gosh. Um, oh, yeah, so let's get some of that orange color that we did, kind of that orange color, and I want to just do a little bit of that in there to suggest hay. And then I want to come around here like this and suggest just a little bit of grasses, you know, just some stuff, just a little bit of brown. Well, I mean, we're not putting in the chickens and the cows. I know you guys wanted to do that, but I just don't see that in the cards right now. But um, I want to put in a little of this dirt color by here. All right, pretty good. Now, as long as I've got that sort of color here, I'm going to just add some little leaves to the tree like this. Put a little mixing white with that so they're a little bit lighter. Just suggest there's just the remnants of these fall leaves. They're very light, barely touch it. Kind of go across the tree in a few places. You can suggest these just using the corner of your brush like that. Same thing up here, little tiny bits, and we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to certainly say that this one has the same kind of funny little leftover leaves from fall. It comes, comes down like this. Up here, doo -doo -doo -doo. you can kind of play with this a little bit. And then there's some little darker ones, so let's take a little raw umber and make some little darker leaves like that. I think it would be better if there was a little cad red medium and kind of a little bit more redder, darker leaves like that. Here we go. Gonna add a little bit of color to these, a little bit more cad red medium. Just have a couple of the ones in front here, have a little orange color to them. Just something like that. Not too many. Okay. All right. So. All right, that's pretty good. I'm I'm kind of happy with that. So far, so good. Um, as long as I'm doing that color, I'm going to just take that color and do a little round log right here. I'm just going to blot that because I had too much water on the brush. The thing I say about this brush is it holds, sometimes it grabs a little more water than I want. Okay, so I'm going to say that this is coming around here like this. This is going to be our log here like that. Okay, I'm just going to just suggest my log. And if that's the log, then this the rest of this is um, take a little bit of blue and white and a little cad red medium, kind of a more grayer snow. It's ultramarine blue now. We're going to get some grayer snow. And I'm going to come in here like that. So just one little shadow of something coming this way into our picture. Okay, and just a little bit of. Any bit of that on this barn, just like that. Okay, 
Well, that's pretty good, right? Maybe I like this gray color too. Maybe we'll add a little bit of that here too. Just something. Okay. Just some gray on the barn. Now, um, what, 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 what are we doing next? Oh yeah, let's take some of this color and suggest some leaves and this, these trees. So we're not really, it's sort of this gray color, which is sort of pretty. The same thing up here. You, you, you wouldn't think to do that, but instead of the dark leaves, you're just going to suggest some leaves with a few little bits of light gray. Just put some leaves like that. And uh, up here too, maybe. Okay. Now, um, right here is our, um, right here is our first little bit of hay, like, like this. There's a, this is in front of this one. Looks like a bullet. Okay. If, you know, and, and, and right now that, you know, if you're going to do a hay bale, they don't do it that round. But let's take a little bit of yellow. Cad red medium, okay. A little bit of raw umber, okay. Maybe a little bit of white. We want another lighter color too. Okay, so we're going to say this is our first hay bale, right like this. And we've got one here. Again, they kind of look like upside down eggs. That's if you, sometimes it helps if you can have a shape reference. And I'm going to get a little bit darker as I go down toward the bottom of these. Like that, and they're down here. And then there's even a little bit of brown on this one, this side of it. So a little bit, there you go. And of course you've got to have it on this side too. Now, this is about as much as I can do without drawing them, but there's my little hay. But it just still looks nice, right? So I'm going, well, what else could I do with this color? I think I could put a little more these bright leaves over here. That's kind of brighter. How about here on my tree up here like this? Okay, that's good. And on this tree, it's going up here like this. But these, okay. Now what else? Um, um, da -dum -dum. I'm going to dry brush a little bit of this color right here in front of the snow. I don't know why it's there, but it's in his picture. So who am I to argue? Okay, so um, back to my dark color. Here's my dark um, tree. I'm going to give it another little coat right like that. Make sure I've got this dark, you know, nice fine line here. And then we've got, I've got another tree right up here like this, coming up this way. These are most, almost have been some sort, they're not fruit trees, but this, this farm had a lot of trees. And it kind of came over, the branches sort of came this way. So this was another tree, kind of in the foreground. And, um, I don't know, this is sort of cute. I mean, we're just going to say this does this. Make sure you have enough paint on the brush to get these little tiny branches like that. It's a, you know, it's a kind of going down at an angle. Okay. You see that there's this tree right there like that. And back behind here. All right. You with me? Right back behind here. This is more of a rust color. Let's get more of the burnt, of uh, the yellow oxide, uh, the cad yellow medium and the cad red medium. Take this more line. and we're suggesting back here like a little fence over this way. Kind of came this way and stopped, and then all over here like this, there's some little little stuff growing, tiny, tiny. Make it really tiny, kind of orangey, stuffy stuff right here. Some sort of little weedy things that are growing here. Maybe it was a raspberry patch that's left. Who knows? There's some weedy things and then there's some blue ones back here. Some more blue weedy things. Like that weedy things. I think that's about the way it is too. Little weedy things. I'm going to make the door a little bigger on my house now that I see it. Okay. 
And there was a, I think I'm going to put it anyway because he's got it. See if you can do this. There's a miniature pine tree right here. That's a trick. Probably want to do a tinier brush than I'm using, but there's a little pine tree right here. Barely see it. And um not liking that. I'm gonna take it off and try it again. I think I am gonna to have to can't probably use this brush for that. I thought I could, but that's too big. Take a little water. You've dried everything, you should be able to erase. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's try this again with a tinier brush. What do I got? What do I have that's tiny? Nothing. Nothing. I have two studios where I paint. Oh, you look kind of small. All right, let's try this one. Here's a little number two bright. Let's see if I can make it tiny here. It's not that tall. All right, I'm just suggesting a little pine tree right here. Okay, got, got it. Just something was there. And, um, yeah, here's our tree. Okay, so now you've got these little some sort of little stuff growing along here like this and our fence comes in down here like that and it just wanders into this and then he had I love this because you know I'm sitting here looking and blowing this up he had a some little bigger posts right here so one two there a little bigger posts right there and that's all you're going to see of that but still cute right I mean we can get the whole feeling I mean look we can get we don't have to put everything in here, you know, to get all this. We can get the general feel of this without doing any of that. So, all right, so here's, this is dried enough where I can do a little bit of dark right here on this edge of this um, hay bale. And the same thing here on this one, a little bit of raw umber. Just make it a little, you know, darken up this side right here like that. Okay, that hay bale. Now on the top of this hay bale, Let's see, well, let's just get the lighter. Remember, we've got some lighter stuff coming here. Let me rinse the brush. This, this is, I, I'm telling you what, I hope you're having fun with this. This is really fun for me. Um, it's gone. I think we've done pretty good for just about an hour. Don't you guys think so? So let's just say that there's some more white here. Kind of. You could use yellow oxide and white too if you're trying to. I was just saying you can use very few colors to get this to work. See, I'm coming down using a stiff brush like that. The same thing here, a little more white. It's very light next to this one, right like that. See, a little bit light there, a little bit lighter here coming down. And a little more white in that color. Here it is, a little bit lighter here. A little bit lighter right here. Work that in, barely touch it. Now, at the very top, there's snow, but I've got to let that yellow dry first, okay? So now that we've decided that that's good, this is too dark here, so we've got to lighten this up right here. And we need a light gray. So, light, light gray with a little bit of yellow in it. There we go. Lighter than that. Okay, good. All right, see? I mean, this is all about contrast, you guys. All of this is about contrast. Okay, so we're saying that... Um, let's just keep going with this. We can. I'm telling you what, this is fun. Let's get back to our brown stuff. And let's just say that right in here that we've got some little twiggy things. Okay, so that using just your brush like that, we're just coming up here and making some little twiggy thingies. Twig twiggies. That's our twiggy stuff. And then over behind the log here, there's some more little twiggy things. I'm just going to come up here like this, and we're going to say that there's some little twiggy things going that way. 
Notice I get new paint. I can do a little bit of it. Brush is flattened. I'm using just, just the heel of this and adding little, just adjusting some little stuff. You don't have to get too crazy, right? Because what's going to happen next is, we're out of burnt number. What happens next? What happens next is, this is really like a wonderful puzzle. Okay, so what happens next is we've got a fence that's doing this. A little bit of burnt umber, a little bit of cad red medium, a little bit of ultramarine blue with that. Okay. Nice dark brown color. Here's our fence. Here's another one right here like this. And it's a little crooked. Here's our fence, a little tiny one right here like that. Okay. That one's a little taller. Got a little short one right there. All right, so we've got a fence there. And then we've got, this one's kind of squared off on the top. Okay, and then we still got our log. And then right here we've got some sort of rock. I don't get it. I think I have to make my fence a little taller. All right, so the fence is getting a little taller. All right, taller fence. Because we've got this... Um, rock here. Okay, so whatever. I don't get it, but we will endeavor to be authentic. Okay, and then I've got I've got a little log that's coming up from from my my cut log. I've got a little branch that's coming up here like this, going off like. Barely touch it. I'm kind of doing this, okay, from there. Then it's dark down here, the bottom part of my log. Let's go back to the yellow and cad red medium. Make a nice deep color two on this round log right here. Okay, so far so good. Now let's take a little bit of that same color and just tap in a few little of these leaves on the um, odd little bushes that we said are growing back here. Right like that, we're not talking too much about them, but we've got a lot of um, we've got a lot of little things growing here. Lots of little bushy things. Try not to make it making them uneven. Don't make it a straight line across. Vary the height. Have some shorter like maybe just coming down like that. Just don't get them straight across. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Yeah. All right. Now, while that's drying, let me see the brush. Let's put some snow on our trees. So let's take some white. And remember, snows, for those of you who don't know, snow falls straight down and lands on the boughs here. So if you put it on the brush like this. Now, we're going to just tap on some snow right like that. I'm going to say that there's some right, just using the corner of this brush. You need to, you don't, you barely touch it. It's just, it's sitting on the top of the boughs, and just maybe a little tiny bit. You're just suggesting it. There, something like that. Oh, you got snow. Well, now what about this one back here? This tree has got snow where the snow might have landed in the crook of the tree. There's too much paint on this brush. Let me pinch it. Have it only on one side. Now, the same thing here. There's just a tiny bit of snow. Just part, partially. You're, you're barely going to see it. Maybe this branch, is, this one is here, it's going to come across like that. And then there's just a little bit. You could almost use a, a white pen on this if you if it was too much. If you were having trouble. Just if you're having trouble doing something that small. And the same thing, I don't see any snow on this tree, but I've got it too um too long and too wide, so I'm gonna just skinny it up a little bit. Just made it too wide a tree. Gonna just skinny this tree up. There we go. And just have it at an angle where the snow's covering it at an angle with a little bit of the blue to make the, there, just 
a little bit of a blue here and just see there's a shadow behind it there you go something like that so there's that tree that one got too too big I'm not putting the bucket or the cow or the chickens or the horses I'm sorry <laughs> we're gonna run out of time but you're welcome to look this painting up and, and put those things in yourself I'm not saying you shouldn't I'm just saying at this point um, I don't like that tree I'm gonna paint it out and do it again this tree didn't work for me so out you come and we will paint you in again a little bit of white with that yeah a little bit of brown there we go paint paint you in again there we go all right so that that farmhouse needs a little work um there's a little window here like i can make that I can do the little window but this that tree definitely needed work okay so that's okay you don't mind so then what can we do here we can now take some white paint and say that the very top of this um, haystack which has had a chance to dry we're just going to tap on the snow here and clear it way up on the brush like this and tap it on just it's coming down yeah, it's, it's not perfect it, it, it's it's tapped as opposed to painted on because you want it to um, look a little more random that you've got it I'm going to come around here on the other side too just let some of this show and the same thing over here tap it on there's our snow sitting on top of the hay cute huh yep 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 now we have a little bit of blue snow kind of more of a shadow color kind of that blue gray color very light and we're saying on this side of it it's too too dark on this side of our hay which happens to be in shadow the, the blue gets a little darker now we'll put some more white on top of that with a little bit of bit of brown in it there you go a little bit more there you go so the lighter parts up here and it's falling down like this okay awesome and then we have a little bit of that blue shadow over here too okay so on this one all right so not so far it's just cute right now what could we do well we're in the white as long as we're in the white let's just take our brush and pull the snow this way over our log this is just using the angle brush here pull it around like this and it it, it drapes down okay and then it falls on this side like this no not exactly like that well close but not quite that one has to um, be there you go something like that there we go something like that right and then it's coming it's following following up like this a little bit here on the edge on that and then right back here here's the rest of our log like that just a little bit of our log here and there's a little bit of the snow under here too and I'm not sure why but he put a little okay a little bit of log and then he's got something here there's just I'm dry brushing it on this if this is a rock I don't know what this is this is some sort of rock that's coming this way in front of our log like this some sort of little mound of dirt maybe Maybe it's just a mound of dirt. I mean, that's possible. All right, let's just do a little bit of red in here like this. All right, so there's our log. And um, I want a little bit of that reddish brown color. Kind of just dry brush that on the fence a bit. A couple of places. Okay, and now we've got a... Um, let's just use this small brush. We've got a... A brown um, 
This is weaving under the fence back here like this, but maybe comes in front like this and goes this way like that. Some sort of little stick thing like that. Okay. And then what? Then let's see, is there anything else we can do with this? Oh yeah. Let's get um let's get our fences up here. We've got a fence around this thing. So, all right, so right about this height, I'm going to just put a fence like this. Dry this really well, so if you don't like how this came out, because this almost goes in a V, and then it comes up like this. These are very old, kind of rickety boards. Okay, and if you, one of the things you can do is just not have too much paint on your brush. Just pinch the brush once in a while, so when you load paint on it, you have control of what you're painting. Don't need globs. So we're just painting this like this, like that, and, uh, and then coming up this way. We're doing another one underneath it. So new paint each time. Another little short board underneath it, and I'm coming up around this way, and then it's sort of crooked. And then the whole thing stops right here. And then there's a bottom board. And I don't know that we needed to do all three, but we're, you know, listen, we're nothing if not authentic. A little tiny thinner one under here like this. And then these are leaning, like this is a board that's leaning right like that. And then we've got it just coming off like this. All right, so now what we have to do is put snow on these before we put the others. And then there were some posts. I guess there's a post in the middle of this. I guess maybe that's how they did it with some snow on it. I just want you to see that there's a post coming right out of the middle of that. Oh, and there's some white. Oh, yeah, I forgot the white on these trees. There. Oh, nice, right? Okay, white on these trees. I guess there's a post coming out of this one too. Don't ask me why. I don't know, but I bet someone will write and tell us. Okay, so now we have to dry that in order for the um, in order for the. Um, this has got to go to a little bit more of a point here. There we go. In order for the um, to put the snow on, we got to dry this. All right. All right, now I'm going to use just the, just putting paint on one side of the brush. The most of my paint is just on one side. I'm going to just go on the top of this log and tap, not paint, tap it. Okay, same thing here. I'm going to tap it. Then I'm going to bring it down a little bit here like that where it might be coming off. Now, guess what? We're out of paint. We're out of white, and that's okay. I just am putting it out as we need it. Um, okay, so here's some fresh white. Now, I'm going to come this way. Tapping it, rather than painting it, just tapping it. And it's kind of broken board, so I'm not trying to do a complete line, right? And the same thing under here like this. It's coming under here. This is a perfect brush for this, by the way. Um, I might add some icicles. But I don't know if we get that crazy. Let's, let's, let's put a little snow on top of this one. Come this way. And then we're going to say that we've got some snow on the side of these like that. See? Right. Just like that. See that? Just like that. Now... Let's dry this one more time so that we can, um, oh, one thing I have to do, there's an old rule here about wherever there's a light, there's a dark, so I need to get a little more of this um, um, brown color underneath this fence, 
right like that a little bit more just extend our little pile of hay underneath here just a tiny bit make sure I've got that there you go so you can put that back if you need to okay and I don't think I got it dark enough right here on the side just make a little shadow right there there you go sometimes you have to just come back and do a little something now um, I think I'm going to chance it I would normally dry it but I'm not going to bother I've got another long line coming up here like this past the hay and then I've got a bunch of funny little ones off the cam canvas like this some logs that are coming up like this I guess they're holding this up and then I've got something coming down here like that okay that's all right and um Coming under my snow, make sure I have enough log to see it. Now, all right, so I'm saying there's that. Now, if I'm very careful, now he was, a, if I'm very careful, I can take white paint and just tap over this. I'm not trying to paint it. I can just take the white paint just on one side of the brush and tap it like that. Let's say there's my logs. You know, post, I think post is probably a better word for that because what we're saying happened here is that um, that these these posts are um, kind of holding this all together like that and then as long as we're into white let's put the the white in between on this little fence right here now we need a little more white off the top of our log here okay coming around like this okay a little more white on our log that's still reading pretty well isn't it and how about um maybe a little something on the top of these boards here not too much just maybe a little something might be fastened on these Okay, so all right, so there's our little fence. This is cute. This is a really cute little picture. All right, so now I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about what we've got so far. This isn't reading here. This little post. Let's just make this post a little more substantial. The same thing here. This little white post in the middle of that, and then I'll take some gray and come around it and make that skinnier. There you go, like that. Okay, so sometimes if you don't have something thin enough, you can take a dark color and then just, uh, you know, change it. So, I mean, just don't get too discouraged about stuff like this. If you got too much white, you can come back with a little dark brown, the inside of this post right here. All right, and then we have, we had a bit of hay here. Like right here, there was just this little pile of hay here, right here on our ground. There was a guy carrying hay out, but I guess, again, we don't have room for the cow. I don't think I can make a cow that small. I'm just going to be honest with you, I don't think I can paint anything that small. I like I like all this. You know, I think we've got some small stuff here. And we did have a, a very nice, um, kind of a nice... Uh, little branch here like this that was pretty you know solid but um, mostly you know I'm not going to try and do any of that but it's come along so it's cute right all right now let's see what else could I do um uh, I'm going to take some dark colors see where I can go back with some dark paint I need to straighten up this barn door like that a little bit more there, okay did that straighten that up all right straighten the barn door up and let's see um yeah we need something in front of this house and i've got to get i have to we will have to go ahead and put in that little pine tree i'm all out of yellow just about kind of meant used up all our colors but let's see where we're at right now let's see now um pine tree this is just the tip of this brush 
I want a dark green color. Just like that. All right, that's better. Yeah. I mean, it's not great, but it's better. All right, now how could we fix that? Well, you know, if you're, if you're having trouble, get the house color again. Get the color of the house and put it back in a couple of places. If you lost it, you know, you can put your house back in there like that. And then I'll tell you, I'll just, let's take a little of our um, snow color. Let's just pull some snow here like this. There, and I'm going to pull some snow. Kind of a little bit of snow right here. Kind of shorten that, some of this stuff up. See, a little phthalo blue and white and raw umber and more white. I'm just going to say that there's a little bit of snow right in here. Let's put a little brown with that. All right, we're just going to put a little snow right here like that. This way. Kind of this way. All right, now... Ooh, I like that. I just saw something we could do. We can put some icicles. Aha! This is the fun part. Let's put some icicles coming down over this roof. So me, assuming I can do make that happen. Let's get this edge of this roof here. But the trick is you need just a bit of snow right here. I think probably it would have been easier to use my Posco pen on this. A little bit here like this over the roof of the house. A few little icicles. You didn't have them, but I'm putting them. All right, there we go. Okay, so now this is um, this is almost done. We're almost done with this, you guys. I mean, I think really we're doing very well with this. We're just um, this uh, tree is a little dark. This one here. So I'm going to put just a little bit of red brown on the trunk on that one. I don't want it that dark. Okay. Okay, I'm going to just, out of curiosity, i got to see what it will look like. Let's see what this looks like in the frame before I go too much further. Okay, that's really cute. Don't you think so? That's just, I think that's just darling. Um... That's really, all right, that, that's fun. We could maybe do a couple more little things, but um, I, I'm just saying that, you know, we don't, um, oh, yeah, let's put some light, kind of some light um, blue leaves on this other tree here, some light gray-blue leaves on this tree. You know how these others have leaves, so let's just, Let's make these a little, they're not really light, they're sort of a dark gray-blue. Coming up on this tree like this. This one has some, didn't have this going. And, uh, uh, yeah, this tree right here. Tiny little leaves like that. And, well, where else could we put some? Funny little leaves. How about um, about out of paint? So I think I'm going to just wind it down. But I want a kind of a light color here, like almost this, almost a peach color, and come over here like this with some leaves from this tree over here. Some little lighter ones. I see where I need some. Just coming up, kind of filling up this corner of the house, right, right in here, and then. There was a little bit of light on the up here like this. So I think that's a good place to stop. This is okay, so oh yeah, what was here? Oh, found something else. All right, here I see this. Sometimes I have to just blow stuff up to really see it. 
there was a, on this side of the barn, there was this dark, dark space right here, like a little hole. And then in order for you to see it, there had to be something, because I mean, I couldn't, I could barely see it in the picture. Of course, things are so old, when things get done in the 18, you know, early 1800s, who knows, by the time we got a photograph, who knows what they're, just, just suggest a, um, a barn window here. And let's see, what else am I suggesting here, coming across here like this? Anything else? I think we're pretty good. Sometimes you can just get too literal for the whole painting. And again, um, let's see, a little bit of raw umber. Might say that there's a little shadow here going from this tree. But, you know, there, he, they really didn't have anything like that. He didn't put a lot of shadows in. So he's had some chickens in the front of there and a cow here and a cow here. And well, I would just make this branch a little thinner, something like that. Just make that branch a little thinner, and I'm going to call it good. Um, here's a Posca pen, and this would be where I might want to just, um, you know, if I if I wasn't getting just exactly what I wanted with my white on my fence. I might just take a few little bits of this um, white here and you know maybe just outline a couple trees like that. Just, just something. But I wouldn't do too much more to that. I would say we were pretty good. And the same thing with this. Um, he had this um, he had a bucket here, and then he had a pole that came up here and did this. And uh, we could do something like that. I think I'm going to just a little bit of white on those little fence posts there. Well, let's just pretend that um, everybody left. <laughs> let's pretend like everybody left. I say let's go for that. Um, this is too wide a pen. Let's do one of the thin ones. Here, if you're going to do anything like this, just do a little, you want to just take a fine point pen and come up here like that and just add some. But that way, if you needed to put in a few little icicles coming down off the roof, and they can be very thin. This was very, something like that. So you have a little more definition like that. And, um, well, there was a chimney on this one. I didn't see that. I guess we should put the chimney in on the house. So let's do, you know, there's always something to do, right? A little bit of cad red medium and ultramarine blue to make this little rust color. And I'm going to say right, right, um, well, we're going to put the chimney right here. It, was, it wasn't there in his picture, but that's, I've got a tree in the way. So we're going to do a very light, Need a light orange color. Okay, so we're going to say there's the light part of the chimney right there. See? That didn't take much, did it? Make it even lighter than that, I think. There's that peach color. That would be pretty. Light orange chimney right there, like that. And then you want it, you have to have a dark side to it. So you've got the light and the dark side to the chimney. Like that, sort of half. Okay, so there's our chimney on the house, which is good, right? And then let's take a little bit of the brown color, and I need a few little dark brown little dots on these leaves, just in a few places. Okay, like that. All right, shall we do ahead and put the bucket? I mean, I just never know about these things, but I feel like that we either have to throw in the horse or something. I don't want to put a horse in here with a cow, so... I wonder if I could do the chickens. Do you think we could do the chickens? Um, that's pushing it. Right here, little bucket, little thing. Nah, I'm leaving it out. I'm gonna, let me just show you. This is what I'm talking about right here. If you want to pause it and put that in, you can. And see where the cow and the chickens go. But this is kind of, this is kind of it for me, you guys. What happened here? How did I get that? 
Um, well, will that come off? Probably. Um, let's take a little wet rag and see if I can't get that off. Otherwise, I can paint over if, if, if it's dry. Yeah, that's gonna have to. We're gonna have to do a little paint repair. All right, don't mind. Let's take a little bit of white, which we're out of. It's all right. We have more white in the tube. Let's make a little white color. Um, ultramarine blue. Here we go. See, fixed. All fixed. Well fixed. And the other thing is I want to I just feel like I need to do something a little more with this log here. Uh, just bear with me on this. We've got this kind of reddish log like this. It's coming around here like that. And then there's this little dark spot in the center. You know how logs are? They've got the dark spot in the center. And he made it dark underneath the snow. So it's dark tap that in right around here like this. That was the inside of this log. Yellow. Just make an orange color. It's just going to be more yellow than that red medium. There we go, like that. And then I want to say there's some of that color in here like this, just a little bit to kind of make that log show up. And let's pick up a little bit of color that's a, the one a little bit darker. A um, little bit of burnt umber, I think, to darken that up. There we go. Still want it orange, but a little bit. Oh, there you go. That's not, I like the sound effects. All right, so there's my log. And um, this underside is a little lighter here on this. And then the paint is very white next to this. So what you're saying is that this is falling this way. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Again, this is a, I think this must be a rock. No idea, but I think it must be. So we're going with that, with a rock. Um, kind of an off white here on the top of the rock. It's a kind of dirty, it's a dirty snow right up here. And you want to make sure you've got it nice and light between the slats of the fence. Okay, like that, so that that shows up. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Wow, you do one thing and then you got to do something else. Do you find that to be true? You start with one thing and then you're going, I don't know. I was good and then I did that and messed it up. There, I got just tap it up there. Okay, like this. This comes around like this. It's about the most I can see of this. Okay, so I think we have a pretty nice... Uh, holiday uh, painting. I think this is really kind of kind of cool. I think it looks good. Um, I might, you know, I'm, I always look at this thing and say, if I do anything else, I'll let you know. But my main thing, my main focus is, um, uh, I just part of me wants to put the cow, one cow in or something, and I hate to do that. He's got, you know, you can get too much in a picture. We could, you know, put a couple birds if we wanted. I mean, I always like birds. Don't you guys like birds? Maybe we could get a bird in flying somewhere just so it's not, doesn't look like a nuclear holocaust happened. Everybody died. Uh, maybe the birds are still alive. That's a good sign, right? Like the thing in the canary here. So if we had any birds... Might put a couple like that. 
maybe three. There, all right, I've got a few little birds. That makes me feel a little better since I kind of left out all the people and the chickens and, and all the stuff. I think we had to, kind of had to do that. All right, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and sign it. Um, I've got a pretty white Posca pen here. Let's. Here's one of the tricks. If you're going to do something like this and you frame it, let me show you a trick. Put the frame on. Figure out where it's going to go. Here, let's just turn this upside down and put it in the frame now. Okay. Now, this is where the frame's going to go on it. So you want your signature to show up. So my signature has to be here. Where it's still going to show up on the round, on the round of frame. See that? So let's move this out of the way. And uh, here's our winner. Everything's in my way here today. Let's just move this up here. Here's our winner. Here's our winner scene. Here's our winner barn. And again, if you want to throw in a tiny horse or cow, I guess you can. Uh, but I think that we got enough stuff in there, and I like our birds kind of flying in the background. And um, for as small as we made this, I think we did pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and still put my red slash through my name. I always do that like that. And uh, let's just go with this, you guys. And let's see, what did he call this anyway? Um, he called this... Oh, well... I want you to guess what he called it. <laughs> Come on, this is a no-brainer. He called this Farmyard in Winter, 1855. And it was done on oil on canvas, 1855. Isn't that cool? And he just, I just see something he did that I didn't do. And you're going, well, she does this all the time. She signs it and says she's done. I'll, I'll do this. I'll just finish it and put it in the beginning. At the beginning, I'll mention if I do anything else. Because I mean, honestly, I could paint on this another two hours, but I think you get the general gist of this. How cute is this? So I hope you enjoyed this. And um, again, we want to thank you very much for um, you know watching this all the way through. And I want to just take a moment to say that um, when we paint things like this, when we when we're painting things. There's so many different ways to paint something. And when we copy the masters or go back and really look at how some master artists painted it from old, we might get a fresh idea about how to do something. This is the idea of doing it. It's a great way to do it. I hope you watch some of our other videos, the, you know, what you can learn from the masters. I've got two in that. That's just examining their art, you know, the artwork of two of the people right now, but we're going to keep adding to it because you certainly can find a lot um, to get better, you know, you can get a lot better when you do that, okay? So, thanks for uh, watching this. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. And um, I'd love to hear some feedback, some positive comments. And, um, so, and if you're asking me where I found this frame, I think I got this at Jerry's years ago. I got this round canvas at Jerry's, too. I don't know. You might have to hunt for this a little bit. So, there we are. Thanks very much, you guys.